The Kraken is coming to San Diego. That's the theme of a new exhibit at the Maritime Museum of San Diego, which also supports a new DreamWorks film opening today. That film was called Ruby Gilman, Teenage Kraken. Joining us now to talk about this exhibit and the film is Maritime Museum Vice President Susan Sirota, who's also the curational lead for the Sea Monster exhibit. First of all, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We do appreciate your time. Thank you for having me. All right, have you had a chance to sort of take a look at the film and then compare it to what's going on at the Star of India along our Embarcadero? I have seen the trailers and I'm so excited to see it this weekend. Um, but the tie in with what we have going on on the Star of India is what makes it really fascinating to me. Okay, so I think the best thing you can do is since it's going to be hot this weekend, start off in the air conditioned movie theater, <laughs> go check out the movie Ruby Gilman Teenage Kraken, and then head on down to the Star of India and continue the conversation because you have this brand new exhibit down there. Sea Monsters is a lot of fun. Um, it's not going to have anything to do with the film. However, the idea of exploring what sea monsters are, do they really exist, is what you're going to see on the Star of India, as well as some large monstrous skeletons and um, a whole bunch of things, depending on what age you are and where you look in the exhibit. So in family friendly, as we were chatting about earlier, this is something even though we say the word sea monsters bring the kids down, they'll yes. love this. Yes, so there's a whole deck just for kids where they can play on a ship and design their own sea monster and tell us how to tame that sea monster. And it goes up on a sea monster wall of fame. Actually, it's a big wave. Um, and there's an area for parents to chill out, basically, uh, while Love kids are that. going around. Thank you. You're Thanks welcome. for thinking of us. <laughs> <laughs> and then above that, there's going to be a lot of information that adults of all ages, as well as kids, can um, really understand the historical perspective of why we believe in sea monsters and where it comes from. And as we're like, you know, you bring the kids down, it's a little slice of history uh, on the Star of India, and I think they're going to get a lot out of this. But more importantly, it sparks some fun conversations with your kids, too. Absolutely. It'll, it'll give you that opportunity because the exhibit is essentially answering the question, do they exist? And then how we go about understanding that, looking at all different types of science disciplines that developed in the 1800s, and so the exhibit is actually period to the Star of India's own history. And one thing that's fun about this film, and again, it's coming out in theaters this weekend, is that kind of one of the core themes underlying in this film is getting comfortable in your own skin. That's Even right. as that awkward teenage stage tends to plague all of us, that's kind of a neat thing for people to understand about the movie too. And I think that's the nice tie-in for families because all kids are gonna go through that rite of passage is finding out who they are, and what sparks their interest in life. And when we do exhibits, that's the whole idea, is to give families, children particularly, a core experience that excites their interest. And it doesn't have to be necessarily sailing or the sea or uh, sea monsters, but I mean, who doesn't love sea monsters? Yeah, and especially for kids. Yes. I mean, their imagination can run wild with this one. Where can people purchase tickets, and how long is this exhibit running for? You can go online to the website, www.sdmaritime.org, or go to the Star of India itself. There's a ticket booth outside the Maritime Museum um, downtown, and, you know, it, the exhibit is free with admission, so it is very easy to access the movie this weekend and the Star of India all in one Trip. Make it a fun weekend. Yeah, yeah a lot to do. Uh, before we run out of time here, for people that do want to go check this out, obviously you mentioned that they can get their tickets right there on site. Go inside, take a look at it for yourself. You mm -hmm. mentioned that it does uh, run all the way through Labor Day. Does it, is it open though on the 4th of July in case people are down along the water? We are open the 4th of July and then we close for Big Bay Boom. So we um, have basically a full day of 4th of July activity and then the museum will close and then reopen. I think they're already sold out though for Bay fireworks watching. Okay, good to know. All right, Susan Sorota from the Maritime Museum of San Diego. We Thank appreciate you. your time. We'll see you in the movie theaters this weekend, and then I'll see you down along the Embarcadero right after that. Thank you. Thank you.